So welcome back to the course. What we want to do in this lecture is understand how search engines work. If you want to get to the top of the search results and win the game, you've got to understand the rules of the game right. And at the moment, Google, as the dominant search engine, are setting those rules. So that's why we want to understand how they determine who gets to the top of the search results. I think that once you understand this, the actions that we'll be taking in the remainder of the course are going to make a lot more sense and you're going to be a lot more comfortable following through and taking those actions. So to help explain how search works, I'm going to play this video that's made by Google themselves and it's presented by a guy called Matt Cutts, who's essentially the face of Google search. I think they do such an excellent job here of explaining it and giving visuals. So that's why we're watching this video. But then at the end, I'm going to draw out the most important points and show how it's relevant for us. Hi, my name is Matt Cutts. I'm an engineer in the quality group at Google, and I'd like to talk today about what happens when you do a web search. The first thing to understand is that when you do a Google search, you aren't actually searching the web. You're searching Google's index of the web or at least as much of it as we can find. We do this with software programs called spiders. Spiders start by fetching a few web pages, then they follow the links on those pages and fetch the pages they point to, and follow all the links on those pages and fetch the pages they link to, and so on, until we've indexed a pretty big chunk of the web, many billions of pages stored across thousands of machines. Now, suppose I want to know how fast a cheetah can run. I type in my search, say, cheetah running speed, and hit return. Our software searches our index to find every page that includes those search terms. In this case, there are hundreds of thousands of possible results. How does Google decide which few documents I really want? By asking questions, more than 200 of them, like, how many times does this page contain your keywords? Do the words appear in the title? In the URL? Directly adjacent? Does the page include synonyms for those words? Is this page from a quality website, or is it low quality, even spammy? What is this page's page rank? That's a formula invented by our founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, that rates a web page's importance by looking at how many outside links point to it and how important those links are. Finally, we combine all those factors together to produce each page's overall score and send you back your search results about half a second after you submit your search. At Google, we take our commitment to delivering useful and impartial search results very seriously. We don't ever accept payment to add a site to our index, update it more often, or improve its ranking. Let's take a look at my search results. Each entry includes a title, a URL, and a snippet of text to help me decide whether this page is what I'm looking for. I also see links to similar pages, Google's most recent stored version of that page, and related searches that I might want to try next. And sometimes, along the right, and at the top, I'll see ads. We take our advertising business very seriously as well. Okay guys, he does a bit of a pitch there for the advertising business, so I'll wrap it up there. Let's move over now to the summary. Perfect, so let's recap quickly on that video. So, what is the most important thing that determines who appears at the top of the search results? Well, it's really what somebody types in the search box. You've got to remember that Google is a service and it's trying to get the most relevant web pages for that person's particular query. So, this is where the process starts. It starts with what somebody's putting in that little white box. That's why we want to get into the mentality of the customer. Think about what they're searching for. Do research in the Google Keyword Planner tool, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You know, the next very important thing then is that on our web pages, we are matching those keywords in really important places like the title and the text and the images so that Google understands that our page is relevant to that person's search query. Of course, that won't be enough to get you to the top of the search results. The way they determine who gets to the top is really the, the amount of outside links that point to your site. 
Google see this as a type of vote and it's not just links from any sites, it's sites that are relevant to your particular niche, that are in the same niche and that they're authority sites as well. They're well established and have a lot of links themselves pointing to them. And I'm going to show you strategies then about how to get those links as well. So a couple of other interesting points. You know, he said that when a person searches in Google, they're not searching the internet, they're searching Google's index of the internet, which is quite an interesting point because you want to really make sure that Google has actually indexed your web pages in the first place. I'm going to show you a very quick check later in the course to do that. So another thing that was interesting is that they send out these little pieces of software to find your pages. The way those spiders find the pages is through links. That's why it's going to be very important to interlink your pages um, um, amongst your website, not only because it helps spiders find all of your pages, but also if you have authority on one page and it's linked to another page, that is passed through to the other page. Excellent. So now we understand how search engines work. Let's go out and play to win.